Hi, my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my Makeup Monday for this week. Today I'm going to play with a few more things from the annual catalogue, even though the mini catalogue has gone live already and we are in celebration. Um, so these are now live and running in celebration. I've got a great big crease in it here. <laughs> um, is running for July and August. So with any $90 product order, you can choose something for free out of this little brochure. Um, I will start playing with some more things from the new mini catalog, but I just wanted to have a play with a couple more things in the annual catalog before I go over to Christmas and stuff. It's still a bit soon for Christmas, I feel. <laughs> um, so I shall put my phone up into my holder and we can get started on playing with a couple of things that um one thing in particular that could get missed so i'll put my phone in the holder and we'll have a look at that won't be a moment okay so we're going to have a look at this it's called lovely layers vellum and it is with a, a stamp set and matches a stamp set in the catalog but i've just bought the vellum paper and it's um five by three and three quarters so it's sort of right for a card front and you get 20 sheets that are printed vellum. They're beautiful. Different sorts of designs. So you, I think you get four or five of, not 100% sure. One, two, three, four, I've used one, four. One, two, three, four, five. So five each of the printed ones. That's that one. Just make sure you can see that. Yep. Um. That's another one. And then you get 20 sheets of the plain vellum that are like card front size. So I'll show you which ones, which stamp set they go with. I don't actually have the stamp set. Um, so it's, it's this stamp set, the Botanical Layers stamp set. And if you buy the bundle, you get the stamp set and the vellum together, 10% off. So if you just want the vellum, it's up the back here on page 139. And it's down here. Lovely layers vellum. And it's $10.50 for the pack of the 40 sheets. Actually, the, sorry, there's 60 sheets. Five each of four printed designs and 40 plain sheets. Sorry about that. There's 60 sheets. So, and it's $10.50. And I just think it can get quite lost in the catalogue. You don't actually notice it. Um, the other thing we're going to have a look at is we're going to use a greeting out of the Celebrating You stamp set on page 17. I really like this just for you. Love it. <laughs> And we're also going to play with something I haven't played with for a while. And that's the Brilliant Wings dies. Um, it coordinates with the Butterfly Brilliant's background stamp. But we're just going to use a couple of the Butterfly dies. So that's what we're going to be playing with today. So I'll put my catalogue over there. And I shall bring this in. So this is my July host code. If you do want to order th anything, just go to my website or go to my blog and click on either the July host code over on the right-hand side or the shop, the Stamping Up logo that takes you to my online shop. So I've got an A5 piece of basic black cardstock. I had so much trouble trying to work out what to do for today. <laughs> had something in mind and then I didn't quite managed to get it together so I'll leave that for another day and I've just taken a slither off this pretty piece of um, vellum just so that it sort of centers in the middle of my cardstock so I'll put that to one side and I've got some um, white scrap here and we're going to cut a few butterflies out so I'm going to choose these three and I'll bring my cut emboss machine in. I'm going to 
going with my big one because I can. <laughs> Just because I can. Oops. There we go. I'm trying to get that centered. So, I might as well use this piece. And will I get it all out of this scrap? Let's have a look. I might. I might not. I might. <laughs> So I'll just go with that. Now I am still using the magnetic plate that they've had to recall. Um, mine is still working quite fine and I really like it, so I'm just using it. But they have Stamping Up have recalled that magnetic platform because they weren't happy with it. There were some issues with it. So they have recalled it. So hopefully they can resolve the issues and get it back out to us soon. So I'll just lift these up with my paper piercer and put this aside, get rid of all my scraps. We've had a really wet weekend here, really wet. <laughs> and I think it's going to continue all week, which is a bit sad. So hopefully we won't have too much rain. So this is an e like it's not going to take too long this card. But sometimes we miss things in the catalogue that are really they're in plain sight, but they're hiding. <laughs> hiding in plain sight. So I'll just put my dies back in here so I don't lose them. Okay, now I've just got to get just all those little bits out. The take your pick tool is great for all sorts of things. <laughs> Getting little bits out <clears throat> and what have you. Picking up gems. So... Now, the other thing I need to get out is a bit of um, scrap paper because I'm going to do a bit of colouring with a blending brush. They're another thing that are really, really great if you don't have one. <laughs> so, this is my yellows. So, I am using crushed curry ink. And I'm just going to put, put it sort of in the centre of my butterflies and just fade it out on the wing tips so that they're not all yellow it's a very simple technique these blending brushes are great love them love 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 and this butterfly and just And this butterfly. So you get, you don't always have to re-ink your blending brush. If you've got enough left on there, you can just use the excess. <coughs> I hang on to that because we will reuse it. So I'll put my um, card base to one side. Now, Normally you have trouble with vellum of how to attach it down, but this has got um, some features with the, the, oops, where did that go? <laughs> I just flew off. <laughs> I'll find it somewhere. Um, with the ferns, you can hide them under the ferns, so I'm going to try that. And then if they do show, then you can hide them with a um, embellishment. So I'm just going to put them in a few strategic places. Oops. Where are we? 
I'm still not used to them being on the, the wrong side of the roll. And I'll probably need one down here somewhere, so. Um, I'll hide it on that one. Okay, so then I'm going to pop this down on my white cardstock, centred. I think that's right. Yep. Now, I'm only going to put my butterflies on with glue dots. I'm not going to pop them with dimensionals. I'm going to pop one up here. And then if we want to, if the vellum's still flapping around a bit, you cannot pop a glue dot underneath. Yeah, I will have to do that. Um, once you've placed your butterflies, I might get my pick tool to lift that off. That's better. Okay, so this one's going to go... I think I've got that a bit crooked, so let me just... I can't have crooked vellum. I don't like crooked vellum. Here we go. That's better. I can place some more glue, glue dots once I've got things happening. <laughs> and this butterfly. Quite often there's things that you don't see. They're just sort of not quite visible in the catalogue. So I'm going to turn my pick tool around to the spatula end and lift them off this way because that might work a little bit better <clears throat> and i'm going to put one up here underneath the butterfly the butterfly will hide it i've got one i can put one underneath this leaf so that's the only thing with vellum you've got to be strategic in where you place your glue dots because otherwise they will be visible so I'm going to put that down there. One more. I found them. <laughs> They're on my on my um grid paper. <laughs> so yeah, I want one here. Yeah, I think that's pretty well secured. Yes, I like that. So I'll get rid of this. And I shall get my Tombow glue and do the back of my card front. And place it on my card base. There we go. I'm just Hope that looks all right to me. I've got my glue dots here. I don't know how they got there. <laughs> I just want to get rid of them before I stick my card down on them and <laughs> can't get it up. Oh, how silly. Okay, that will do for now. Okay, so now we're going to cut a little sliver of this at half an inch because I'm going to get one of my punches. <laughs> That's what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> one of my banner punches down. I think we'll go with this one. I'm going to go with this one. I like this one. So I'll pop that in there and I'm going to punch it first before we stamp anything. Yep. I'll keep my little chad. <laughs> and now I will get my Just For You out. There it is. So Just For You is a good sentiment because it can be for anything. Just for you for your birthday, just for you because 
smell nice. So let's see. I hope I don't. Oh no, I don't think I'll bring my head in. Let's have a go. See how good I get it. Not bad. That was a fluke. <laughs> now what I do is I get my little chad and then I put it down here, down this end somewhere. Just trying to get the same distance from the other end. And I do a little pencil line. <clears throat> and I get my paper snips. And then I pop it back in. And I just make sure it's centered. Sometimes the half inch one can go a little bit off center. There we go. And now I'm going to bring my paper back up and my brush. And just go over this a little bit. Just because it's um, going straight onto a white card base, it could be a little bit stark. So I thought I'd just go over that a little bit. Yep, don't need that anymore. Now I could pop this and I think I shall. And I'm not going to put any ribbon on this card because I just feel it's a bit delicate. But we will get some um, <sighs> bling out and see what bling would work. Champagne rhinestones might work on this card. Um, they might not. <laughs> okay, let's just see where we can place that. And just make sure that's straight. Yes. Okay, so now we'll just get my bling tin out. Get rid of that. Um, so we've got champagne rhinestones, which I think is what... Oh, I've still got a glue dot over here and it's annoying me. I think that's going to be the best thing, actually. Let's see what else we've got. I do have the um, fresh... No. Pale papaya jewels, the retired ones from last year. I could use those actually. That that might work because these could be a little bit too pinky. So let's pop those back <clears throat> and just make sure. So we're using up some retired bling here, but the colours are still in. And I'm going to turn my pick tool back around and get these pale papaya ones off. So I'm going to put them, oh yes, they look quite nice. They work on the butterfly. I'm going to put them on the butterfly's body. There we go. Might just do two on the little one. Oopsie. Come on, off you come. There you go. Now we'll go back over here and get a big one. Finish this one up. So even though these ones have retired, the colours haven't retired. Oh, I've got to put a few more on, I think. So they're on the butterflies. And just curl the little leaves up a bit. And the little wings, I mean. <laughs> Silly me. Um, I Pop one up there. I might get a big one. And pop a big one there. One there. That's probably enough. So I shall put those back in my bling that tin. So that's my short and sweet naked Monday for this week. <laughs> um I've had a really hectic weekend with team meetings and classes and all sorts of things. 
but I just wanted to show you those in the catalog. Um, so it's called the Lovely Layers Vellum, and it goes with the Botanical Layers stamp set, which I don't have. <laughs> So that's the stamp set in the catalogue. Yes, I've got to get rid of that. <laughs> um, it's a nice stamp set. I don't have it, but it's a bundle with that, or you can buy it separately for $12.75 in the back of the catalogue. So that's on page 139 with the foils and the specialty papers. And I just thought that might be an interesting thing to do today because... Sometimes we miss these things. They're sort of tucked away and we don't see them. So that's my Makeup Monday for today. And using the Butterfly Brilliance dies, getting those back out and giving them a, a go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Nice and simple. And I shall see you on Friday for my card and a cuppa. Bye for now.